If you've been having a hard time with your fat loss, I want to share with you some very, very little known science driven facts that are going to help you very much get the results that you're looking for from your fat loss and stay at that body composition. Over and over, I've noticed with every single coaching client, when people apply this, they get exceeding results above and beyond what they've ever thought possible, changing their body composition and in return, changing their lives. First thing, no magical combination of macros macronutrients, so protein, fats, carbohydrates, no magical combination of those is going to give you fat loss results without being in a calorie deficit. That is the number one thing that is going to drive your fat loss forward. So if you have tried all of these different fad diets and they haven't worked, it's because you weren't in a caloric deficit. To when they do work, of course, it's because you're in a caloric deficit. That's the bottom line. Beginning a food journal to write down everything that you put in your body, starting out right now, is gonna help change your habits very, very, very soon. Because you'll start to notice what you're putting in your body and never cheat, always write them down. Fat loss is a lot slower than people think it should be. We try to impose our own limits on it, and unfortunately, fat loss is not going to move any faster for us. We need to be in a caloric deficit, but we need to understand, and this is number two, we cannot out-exercise a terrible diet plan or a terrible nutrition plan. No amount of what people call cardio is going to help us with this either. In fact, those readouts from all of those machines, I highly encourage everyone to read the book Body by Science. And in this book, it, it really does hit on this for a few pages. On those machines, it vastly overestimates the amount of calories that you're burning. These machines are basically lying through their teeth to you. When you do this process of aerobic activity, steady state locomotive activity, what you're doing is you're actually losing a whole ton of muscle mass and bone density in the process. And so my tip number three to really begin getting the most out of your fat loss is to put more muscle mass on. Unfortunately, what people call cardio, aerobic activity, is really not going to help in this department. We don't want to lose bone density as we get older because we want to keep our bones from shattering. And we don't want to lose muscle mass because muscle mass is what's going to help us live longer. If you've never come across this concept, I want you to keep in mind that we've learned a whole lot about the science of strength training and the science of the body between now and 20 years ago. And what we do know now is that we can, when we double our strength, mitigate over 37 chronic illnesses. The amazing thing is, is that we can do this in our 70s, our 80s, and our 90s. Those of us who facilitate this workout, this high intensity strength training for all ages have seen what we first describe as miracles. Of course, as we learn more about this, the science of strength training, what we find is that this is just how the body works. Whenever you double your strength, you're able to efficiently allocate more motor units to all of what your body's productivity, what it's doing in that moment. You have more motor units and more energy to put into other things. In the book Body by Science, they talk about a miracle, a man getting up off of his wheelchair and living another five years without it because of his severe emphysema. What it did is just simply give him more motor units to be able to do more things in his body we can double people's strength very quickly, very easily. It does take some special instruction, however. That's why traditionally most people have seen this workout really presented in a studio one-in-one -one setting. It's a delicate process for some being, you know, very frail, which is very understanding. We move at very, very slow pace, but actually with large weights, which does help us gain muscle mass very quickly, especially when, and this is the fourth thing, we want to incorporate a lot of protein in our diet, especially when we age in our 70s, in our 80s, in our 90s. We need more protein than ever. This usually means for most people, myself included, is getting a protein shake in, and that's every day 
doesn't matter what kind of protein you use. If you're vegan, you can use that kind. But, you know, whey protein is the most effective. It's what most people, of course, have, have come to find out. The effects of strength training are so life-changing that I have never seen clients not get results when they do high-intensity strength training. When we add all of this muscle to our lives, and you're going to have to figure out exactly how it feels for yourself. When you do this method, it will change your life. Our metabolism goes up so much higher as well. As we age, when people say, my metabolism is slowed down over time. That is absolutely true. What they're really meaning to say is I have sarcopenia, which is the medical term for losing muscle mass over time. It wasn't until 1981 that sarcopenia was termed and coined and put into our dictionary. And, you know, at that point, we knew that sarcopenia is something that is a medical condition. There must be a way to solve it. And this is it. When we give our body the biological stimulus that it needs, which is very intense, low impact, safe strength training, then our body, our biological organism can create an adaptive response. Those adaptive responses biologically that we are looking for change our lives. <laughs> and when I say change our lives, Maybe not for those of us in our 20s, 30s, and 40s. But once we hit the age 55, we start losing a whole pound of muscle every single year of our lives. Where before that, from age 27, we only lose about a half a pound of muscle every year if we don't do strength training. Seeing how we can double our strength, which is very common for one-on-one -on -one instruction in this high-intensity strength training, in a very short amount of time, six months, <laughs> way less than a year. Since we can do that, <laughs> imagine that if you're in your 70s and you begin training in high intensity strength training, by the end of six months, you will be stronger than a whole lot of the 30, 40, and 50 year olds all around you. So look, I want to invite you into, again, <laughs> paying attention to your calories. <laughs> this is important. Understanding that, look, there's no magical diet that's going to work for you. It's a caloric deficit. You can't out-exercise a bad diet. And what does this mean for us? When we can bring our metabolism up back to where it was when we were youthful, this is what we're looking for for fat loss as well. So I invite you into this. Try high-intensity strength training. I have three free resources that you can download um, they're PDFs, they'll be in your email box, and then you'll be getting nutrition tips from me as well. I have a free nutrition course that's going to be coming out at the end of this month, and it's going to teach you a lot of things that a lot of people don't know about nutrition. Things that are going to help you move forward in your training as well. A few ideas to get started with high intensity strength training as well. Everything that you see here in the PDFs. I have two courses as well that I offer, and again, uh, check your emails because on Black Friday, everybody sells something, and those are my offerings. I teach people, and have been for the past eight years, how to apply high-intensity strength training from the beginner level all the way to advanced. So again, happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. I want you to live a longer life with the power of strength training.